This is a button battery, and this is a hot dog, and this reaction could seriously injure or even kill a child if they swallow the battery. Now, it looks like this battery is short-circuiting and burning the hot dog, but look at the temperature. It's not. Maybe the battery is leaking, and that's causing a chemical burn? Let's test that with a power supply, two electrodes, a piece of ham, and some salt water. I matched the voltage of the lithium battery, but it was taking a while, so I cranked up the voltage a bit. And now, we wait. Oh. My. God. Look what is happening at the negative terminal. The ham is getting translucent, which means whatever's happening here is eating away at the flesh. And this damage is happening without a battery even being there, which means it cannot be caused by a battery leaking. It turns out what's actually happening is the electrical current is splitting water molecules apart, electrolysis. This releases hydrogen ions, also known as acid, at the positive terminal, and hydroxide ions, also known as base, at the negative terminal. And I verified that with pH paper, as you can see here. Look at that. Look at this. This is pH 3, 4, and this is pH 11, 12, 13. That is striking. Acids coagulate tissues, and so that gunk forms kind of a protective barrier against further damage. So you can see that the damage here on the acid side is not that bad. But bases dissolve tissues, which means that if I just let this go longer, it would have eaten all the way through the ham. The hydroxide ions generated at the negative terminal could burn through a child's esophagus, and that can be deadly.